Here we're going to take a brief overview of the four main stages of blood dispersion as it comes in contact with the surface, as it gets dispersed, and kind of the steps it goes through between when it initially is falling to that final result we'll see after. So phase one is contact and collapse, and phase two is the displacement. So the contact and collapse phase. It's when the droplet first hits the target surface, as you may suspect, and the droplet begins to collapse from the bottom upward. This spot collapses, the blood at the collapsing point is forced outwards, creating a rim around the droplet. This is what we can measure for looking at getting into kind of the measurement of that impact angle, if it was on an angle, for example. The angle of impact in the target surface will affect the boundary by determining the nature of the rim and the flow it falls onto. Also to mention is the, that target surface, the more porous it is versus the more um, solid it may be, that's going to really affect how that's going to potentially go through this contact and collapse phase. The displacement phase, uh, the dimples are present in the dis displacement phase, may result in the formation of individual spatter or a spine that could develop. We kind of see that spines kind of developing here. The target surface influences the formation of the spines and shape ir irregularities. So if it's a very smooth surface, you might get really well-defined kind of um, displacement phase. Uh, if it's a very porous surface, it might be harder for it to kind of see that level of detail. The dispersion phase is where the blood is forced into the boundary of the rim and dimples that rise upward and opposite in the direction of the original momentum. So here it impacted, now it's coming, it's kind of coming down and it's dispersing, kind of coming back up a little bit. The satellite spatter will form to the greatest extent when the impact angle is closer to 90 degrees. Stain striking the target surface at more acute angle uh, produce wave cast off spatter where the bl where the blossom effect occurs more in the form of a wave on one side of the rim. That just makes sense. If you're on more of an angle, you're not going to get necessarily this perfectly symmetrical um, dispersion phase. And last one being retraction. This is the last phase of development. The result from the effect of the surface tension trying to pull the fluid, the stain, back into a single form. You have those internal forces there trying to pull it back together. Those internal forces present in the moving fluid are overcome by the surface tension and the liquid reactants, forming spines away from the potential stain. A very acute angle impacts the forces of inertia overcome the surface tension and satellite spots will detach uh, from there. So it just kind of gives you that very brief kind of look at as we have the kind of the end phase, how you'll see it in the end. But how did that form? Well, this is that dispersion phase, and this is that displacement ultimately starting with that contact phase. All this helps you hopefully understand a little bit more of what's going on with blood dispersion because of the properties internal to the blood.